In this video I will show you how to fix the voice chat in Fortnite. We will be covering multiple methods that could help you resolve your issue. But before we get into those, try checking whether your microphone has physical buttons for muting or lowering the sound. You might have pressed them by mistake. If that wasn't the case, let's jump into the methods. First off, check the Epic Games voice server status. The server might be down, causing a game-wide voice chat outage. To do that, open up your browser, then go over to the status.epicgames.com website, go over to Fortnite and press the plus sign next to it, and go over to voice chat. If you see the word operational right here, that means that the servers are working, and you should move on to the next method. But if that isn't the case and there is an outage, you will need to wait until it's resolved, and that should help you with your issue. Next up, you can try checking whether you are in the correct voice channel. You might be trying to talk to team members while you are in the party chat, or vice versa. To do that, while you are in a game, press the escape button, then click the microphone icon, then go over to the correct channel and just press the off button that you will see right here and you will see that voice channel start working. If the issue persists, make sure that you have disabled parental controls. They might be limiting your access to the voice chat. To do that, go to the top left and press the three lines, then go over to the bottom and press the gear icon, then press parental controls right here. If you see this screen, this means that you haven't got any parental controls enabled so you can move on to the next method. But if you see this screen, that means that you have parental controls enabled and you should ask your parents or whoever set it up to enter the pin so you can enter the parental control settings and then go to the top, make sure that you have set voice chat to everybody or disable parental controls altogether by pressing the disable button. Next up, let's try checking whether all of our audio settings in the game are correctly set up. To do that, go to the top left and press the three lines then press the gear icon in the bottom left, then press the settings button at the top. Once you get inside of settings, go to the top, press the speaker icon, then scroll down and find the voice chat section. Then make sure that you have enabled voice chat for everybody or friends and teammates or friends only by using the arrows. Then select your voice chat method. If you're using push to talk, make sure that you know which key binding you will need to press to use your microphone. Then you can change your voice chat input device to the correct one that you want to use by using the arrows, for me it's the microphone, razor, siren, mini. Then you should also change your voice chat output device to the one that you want to use, for me it's this one right here. And then you can also enable voice chat notifications if you want to. Once you are done, go to the bottom right and press the apply button. If this didn't resolve your issue, go to the next method. Now I will show you how to allow applications on your PC to access your microphone. To do that, go to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button. Then in here, write microphone privacy settings. Open up the application at the top. Once you open up the application, go over to the allow access to the microphone on this device section then press the change button in that section and make sure that you have enabled this switch right here. Then go over to allow apps to access your microphone. Make sure that you have enabled this and scroll down and make sure that you have enabled allow desktop apps to access your microphone by pressing this switch right here. If you're still running into issues after this method, let's go over to the next one. Now we will be going over to the sound settings where we will be covering multiple steps. To do that, go to the bottom right of your screen and press the arrow, then go over to the speaker, right-click it and press sound. Once this application has opened up, go over to recording, go over to your microphone, the one that you're using, right-click it and press properties. First off, make sure that this device is enabled by going over to the device usage in general and make sure that this option is selected. After you do that, go over to levels and make sure that you have selected the correct levels for your microphone. You might have turned your microphone down and people inside of Fortnite might not be able to hear you. After you do that, go over to the last option, which is advanced, and right here under exclusive mode, make sure that you have unchecked both of these options because another application might be using your microphone exclusively instead of Fortnite. After you're done with all of this, press the apply button in the bottom right, then press the OK button and now try using the voice chat. If you are still experiencing issues, try troubleshooting your microphone. This will scan for some general issues 
and try to fix them or explain to you how you can fix them yourself. To do that, go to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button. In here, write sound settings. Then open up the application at the top. And once you open up the application, scroll down over to input and press the troubleshoot button below your microphone. Then this window will open up and right here under consent to run automatic diagnostics, press the yes button. Then your computer will run a few scans and you might need to answer some questions that will help your computer detect the issue if it can. Then after a few questions, it might simply just say, I couldn't find the issue. If that was the case for you, last but not least, you can try restarting your PC because there might be some error within your operating system and a quick restart will fix that. To do that, go to the bottom left of your screen and press the Windows button, then press the Power button, and then press the Restart button. I hope we managed to help you resolve your issue. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.